of their Mailsketeers, Princess Minnie or Kate here, and I am just so excited to get right into today's video. It is a Disney pin tag. I have not done one of these in what feels like forever. I had so, so much fun helping my friend Robin over at the Amazing Channel, oh hello Robin, come up with this pin tag. Thank you so much Robin for coming up, not only with this idea, and most of its categories, but also for thinking to invite me to share this pin tag with you. I super appreciate it. And I hope all of you, after watching this video, will go watch Robin's tag, not only to see her pins, but to see who she tags uh, to complete this challenge as well. I'll be tagging some awesome Disney pin friends at the end of this video, but I'm just ready to get started. Like I said, I am just ready to go. I have 12 pins on the back of this board, and I am just dying to share them with you because some are just my absolute favorite pins ever, and they all are to be inspired by Disney sidekicks. So the very first sidekick is from Aladdin, and there are a lot of awesome Disney sidekicks in that movie. And Robin chose Abu, and he is just the cutest, but what does he love? He loves things that sparkle. So this pin, the Abu pin, is a pin that has sparkle or glitter to it. And I chose a pin I actually won. I won a YouTuber giveaway uh, about a year ago now from Beth Long over at the channel Beth Long. And on Instagram, she is known as the Park Hop Princess. And she has designed a couple of her own fantasy pins. And I was so, so thrilled to get this pin because it is in the shape of California with a little Mickey heart. I'm sorry, I'm thinking of it as a as a heart and a Mickey head, but a little Mickey head icon where Disneyland Park is. And since John and I went there about a year ago, and then I won this pin, it just felt so special. And here the pin is on its backer card. I find it a little easier to showcase that way. And a little close up on Beth's logo there. I believe she's made a Florida version as well. Um, I'm so obsessed with this California version. You can see there is some real sparkle to this beauty. And there, of course, is the little Mickey icon. So, so cute. So definitely one of my favorite pins. Brings so many amazing memories to mind, especially as we are in the process of saving up for our next California trip. The next pin in this tag is represented by Miko from Pocahontas. And you might be thinking, that's gotta be a food pin. But no, Miko to Robin and I represented nature. And for the pin, I actually chose a princess pin that was released in a set of four from this past Flower and Garden Festival. They released a set of four princesses that all had a little floral saying on their beautiful dresses in kind of like a silhouette form. And I chose, even though all four are beautiful, I did choose this Cinderella pin. A huge shout out to my friend Melissa for gifting me the four pin set. This is an absolute standard pin for me, like just hallmark pin, I should say, on my Cinderella board. Uh, this is Bibbidi Bobbidi Bloom, of course, which is a beautiful play on Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. And there are just so many gorgeous details in her dress. And since I actually did have the pleasure of attending Flower and Garden, that's kind of what I wanted to bring in for the nature pin category. I'm digging the blue silver color so much. When Robin and I were trying to come up with categories for this pin tag, I'm not sure how she worked hers. I'm not sure if she thought of the sidekick first and then what the kind of pin category made sense to go with that character, or if she thought of a pin category she would like and then found a sidekick to fit it. In this case, I was trying to think of just really interesting, unique side characters, and then the pin category came from that. So I wanted to actually go with, and I think my friend Sarah A will be excited, um, from Brave, Merida's brother bears is what I'm going to say. Um, so the brother bears from Brave. And this is going to be a pin that transforms. So that really leaves it quite open to interpretation. And I went with a pin from my absolute favorite series, monthly release series from last year, and that's the Lunchbox series. So all the pins are LE, ooh, wow, it's lower than I remember them being, 1500, holy crap. And <laughs> I love this series so much, I did complete it, and I just have not actually opened all the pin packages that have all the Lunchboxes yet. <laughs> that's gotta be on a to-do list for me. And in 
Uh, all these lunch boxes have the movie representation on the front, and then when you open them up, transforming the pin, right? It shows a really cute lunchbox lunch representation of that movie. And I picked one of my favorites. It's very hard to pick a favorite. But in honor of Robin, I decided to go with the Alice in Wonderland lunchbox. The tea party scene on this is just really darling. I love the old-fashioned nature of this pin. And I had to look at this pin for quite a while in order to really catch all of the details and even all of the characters because obviously Alice is front and center and the Mad Hatter and the March Hare are taking up quite a bit of real estate on this pin. But sneaking in the corners you have the Cheshire Cat and the White Rabbit who's my favorite. So um, that was just a really neat detail. I do like the text as well. When you open this one up, I, it's really hard to beat the inside of this one for me. It transforms into this beautiful tea party themed lunch. You have the bread and butterflies. You have the unbirthday cake, the Mad Hatter's, um, I'm not sure what to call that <laughs> hat number. Um, and you have, of course, a beautiful teapot all set against the most beautiful pink background. And even like the spoon is crazy, right? So no attention to detail was left undone. And here's the little magnetic closure, of course. Let's see, this is a nice thick pin too. This, it's very substantial. And I'm very excited to see this collection finally come together when I open the rest of my pin mail. Category number four is one of my absolute favorite Disney sidekicks and from Tangled that is going to be Pascal and this is a pin that is colorful. So I have a lot of colorful pins, right? Disney is great at releasing pins with just like pops of color. But um, I, I just could not stop thinking about this one and it's just your a basic mystery bag pin but and it's not even like some of my favorite characters but the colors are just scream to me and it's going to be from the handbag mystery set the three fairies purse i just think this is so beautiful and so unique you have the wand up here um, and then each fairy is represented with a gorgeous bow. And I could just look at this one for a really long time. I think it's just special. I don't have that much to say about it other than it fits being a colorful pin and it's so beautiful. Oh, and of course, they are side characters, right, in their movies, so it also fits the overall nature of this tag. Category number five, uh, definitely my husband's favorite Disney sidekick, Mushu from Mulan. And this category is an Asian Parks pin, so one of your favorite Asian Parks pins. And I decided to go with one of the Hong Kong lollipops because that is my favorite set from any Asian park. And I decided in honor of my sister to go with the Tinkerbell lollipop. I just want to quickly note that Tink, again, she's from the Asian parks. This whole lollipop series was from Hong Kong. And this series actually came in pretty little tins that looked like this. I actually used them to hold my Mickey backs. But I have her on this generic pin backer card just because she, being Tinkerbell, was not trying to focus at the camera. <laughs> so now you can see her very well. And I just I had to pick this because I think the colors are absolutely gorgeous in this pin. Tink looks beautiful and I love the also um, Mickey head shape of the lollipop and just even the stem is such, the stick, is such a nice little detail. Category 6 is a character from a movie I have not seen in four ever, uh, but I do know that Robin really likes this character, so we decided to base a category around him, and that's going to be Heimlich from A Bug's Life, and this is a food-based pin. So I decided to share just a pin again from one of my favorite monthly release series, one I did not complete, but I did get many of them, and that is going to be the Latte pin set. And these are actually limited edition of 3000, so quite a bit bigger than the lunchbox set. Um, I decided to go with the Rapunzel latte, and latte, I mean, that, that falls in the food category, but there was also a cookie on there, so I, I totally fit <laughs> the bill with this one, I think. Again, another theme for the pins that I chose, definitely beautiful color scheme. Um, definitely reminiscent of her attire and, of course, the Corona Sun. I love it, you know, hinted at here and, of course, in the handle as well. And the cookie is just beautiful. I want to take a big bite out of it. And, I mean, the most stunning latte art for sure. 
another pin I could just really look at for quite a long time. I might complete this set one day. I never got the Cheshire Cat one, and I'd like to, but I, last I checked, he was still going for around like $60 or something, so I'd have to get a pretty good deal on him. Seven is quite an interesting category, and it's based on the character of Lumiere, who is definitely one of my favorite Disney sidekicks. I love all of the characters from Beauty and the Beast, but there's something about Lumiere that's so special, right? And this category is one of the, like, show a pin that has a character represented as an inanimate object. I thought this was going to be really, really hard but I had the perfect pin. Not only did I go with Lumiere, but it is my favorite princess, and she, of course, is an inanimate object. It's one of my favorite pins ever. It is Belle from the Royal Hall series where princesses were represented as thrones, and I was so, so thrilled and lucky to open this. I, every time I look at it, I'm just so stunned I have it. <laughs> All of the thrones from that set were glittery and big and beautiful and fit their princess perfectly, but there was something about this one that just seemed extra sophisticated to me, and I love all of the rose details and the beast mask up at the top and all of the gold glitter, and this is definitely like Belle's favorite look for me from that movie as well, so perfect for me. This next category is just marked by one of the cutest duos in Disney, Gus and Jacques, the mice from Cinderella, and this is to represent your favorite princess pin. This was a really tough one for me, guys, because they are Cinderella characters, so I felt like I should go with the Cinderella pin, but Belle is my favorite princess and definitely my biggest pin collection at the moment, so I did decide to go with a Belle pin, but which one? I have so many, many amazing Belle pins. I did decide to go with a recent-ish acquisition to my collection, and it's an Acme Fantasy pin, limited edition of 300 and when I stumbled across this one in a Facebook group I was absolutely stunned I got it for such a good deal and I'm so thrilled that I got it and it totally goes along with the throne pin that I just showed you too and look out you can even see it from far away this is a substantial size pin so of course you just have Belle reading in her gorgeous ball gown as we all tend to do before curling up with a good book right get into our favorite ball gown attire and get our hair and makeup done and uh, curl outside our castles <laughs> with our favorite novels, right? Uh, so she's very relatable, I think, in this pin. But no, the details are just gorgeous. Her face is lovely. It's a humongous pin, so it's definitely a hallmark pin on my bell pin board. And I'm super excited just to get to share this one with you guys again. Category 9 is represented by Tinkerbell, and we decided to make Tinkerbell a romantic pin because, you know, she has those loving feelings for Peter Pan. Very unrequited, but they're there nonetheless. And so, because I have shown a couple of Belle pins, I decided to go with a Cinderella pin, and this is Cinderella and Prince Charming, and it is a chaser pin from the Cinderella puzzle set, the character connection set, and this lim was a limited edition chaser of 500, and this I could not get my own hands on, I couldn't even find it on eBay to pay for it, um, and it was sent to me with these amazing sidekick Miko ears by my friend Lacey over at the channel Lacey's Latest, so thank you again for both of these Lacey, they are perfect for this tag for sure. So definitely a romantic pin as they are just dancing the night away in their finery. I love how they're looking at each other in this pin. Not too many details in the face, but you can still see the love there. And this puzzle piece acquisition also means that I'm only one chaser away from completing that Cinderella puzzle. And I also just love the, the colors in this pin. I think gorgeous, just gorgeous. A little bit of sparkle in her dress too. Never hurt anybody. The next category is marked by definitely my favorite evil sidekick duo, Flotsam and Jetsam, Ursula's uh, eels. I couldn't think of what they were called for a second. Eels from The Little Mermaid, and I love them in the... Um, they're such a small part of The Little Mermaid ride in Disney World, but when they're leading into like Ursula's, I'm gonna say lair, cave, <laughs> um, and I just love them when they say like, 
Ursula has power. So whatever it is they say, but I just love their voices. And they are, anyway, they are representing your favorite villain pin. So I took, I literally took this as my favorite villain pin, not my favorite villain and a pin of them, because my favorite villain is Gaston, but my favorite villain pin collection is actually Maleficent. So I decided to share with you guys a pin from the Sleeping Beauty 60th collection, um, 60th anniversary collection, and this is an LE, and let me just double check what size it is, 4,000, so not the smallest LE size, um, and this one's really cool, it also transforms like that lunchbox one did. So far I've kept this pin on its backer card, which I do not normally do, but it's just so lovely. And Maleficent as a dragon, so stunning. I you don't even mind like that you can see the hinges here. Just doesn't even I don't really even think about it. But I do love the wings and then when you open them up, I'm sure you can see what's going to happen there. Ah, so then you get to see Maleficent in her fairy form and in her dragon form, which I think is so cool. And of course she has the classic purple, black, and lime green Disney villain colors. I'm not even sure how I want to display this one officially. I think this second to last category is such a cool one. So pin category 11 is represented by Tomater from the Cars series and I love Cars, mostly one and three, two I could, you know, leave. But Tomater, I thought I was going to be so annoyed by his character but he's so charming and cute and I love him, he's such a good friend, It's great qualities that you'd want in your friend. And this is to represent your favorite ride or attraction. Now, my my favorite ride is actually Midway Mania. I love it so much. I can just ride it a ton of times on any given trip. There is, and I love the queue too. I don't even mind waiting in the queue for like 60 minutes. I'll take it for that ride. Um, <laughs> but I don't really have any good pins of it. I think I only have one Midway Mania pin and it wasn't that exciting. So I decided to go with a pin I do love from a ride I do love. It's just not my number one and that's Haunted Mansion. So from the Attractions Mystery Bag, it is the Gracie Manor or ghouls representing of course the haunted mansion okay again I put him on this backer card just to help him focus a bit and pop even a little bit just because he's a weird shape to hold and still see all his details so you have the hat box ghost and I just love everything about him from his weird little face and his hair to his hat um, and then the oversized cape and then of course you can read Gracie Manor ghouls for Master Gracie and he's flanked by a couple of tombstones there. I love the colors in this pin. It's very simplistic, but it's very fun. Now Robin did come up with this final category and it just was like perfect for me, especially to go last as like the finale pin. This is represented by the Little Green Men. And not only is it represented by the Little Green Men, but the pin I have to show you is of the Little Green Men because it is a pin that is your favorite or chosen sidekick. And they of course are my favorite overall Disney characters. And I actually have a bunch of Little Green Men pins. I let John pick, a, a, I put out a couple of my favorites and I let him pick because I just couldn't. And so, this was my instinct as well. We were, we were like this there. But so this is the Little Green Men at Disney World watching the fireworks. And of course they're going, ooh. So I had some great LE pins to show you guys in this video. But this one, and again, this is just random backer just to help them focus. This was just your basic open edition pin. Nothing wrong with that, folks. I mean, Disney comes up with some great ones. And one of my favorite pin collections, in fact, when I started pin collecting, I thought it was gonna be my main collection, was gonna be characters at the Disney parks. So them watching the fireworks and just being amazed must be happily ever after, right? Um, it really just spoke to me on so many levels. So I love this pin. It's definitely a great finale pin also with the fireworks. And of course, it's the sidekick tag so my favorite sidekicks being in here is perfection so there you have it my 12 favorite pins inspired by amazing disney sidekicks i am going to give you guys a close-up of this and i'd love to hear your thoughts on what your favorite pins were which one stood out to you 
if we're pin twins on any of these or if maybe any of these are on your to get list you know i love that just I, I love that the variety of pins on here like we have some limited edition we have some just basic open edition we have some mystery bag pins and box pins we have some fantasy pins pins come from a great variety of places and they don't all have to be the most expensive pins to really steal your heart but before I show you that close up, I do just want to tag three amazing people to do this tag because I'd love to see their sidekick inspired collections. So I am going to tag Beth from Beth Long, um, especially because, well, she has a great collection. She could probably do this like entirely with um, <laughs> little green men pins, except for maybe like the princess and the villain one, right? <laughs> and maybe romantic, a romantic aliens pin. That would be a great challenge, Beth. <laughs> but because she did design one of the pins here and she also picked up the Sleeping Beauty pin for me. So thanks again for that, Beth. My friend Karen from Karen's USA Adventures I would love to tag because Karen just has such a massive pin collection and I know she could do a lot of great romantic pins from Up, which is one of her primary collections. And I'll also tag Becca from Disney Kitty because she has some of the best collections. I had two cool bell pins here and I would love to see if she has any amazing bell pins that could also be done from this tag. Again, here are my final 12 and I cannot wait to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Before I go, I just want to say another big thank you to Robin for organizing this pin tag and for tagging me in it, and a preemptive thank you to anyone else who does this tag. Let me know if you do it, even if I didn't tag you, because I'd love to watch your tag. And guys, I'm so bad with keeping up with some of the things I'm tagged to do, but I really would love to do a lot of the tags that are out there. So if you have tagged me in anything, please feel free to remind me about that down below. I won't feel like you're being obnoxious. I will, you know, be, be very thankful for the reminder because I know there are a lot of amazing tags out there and I haven't gotten a chance to watch them all and sometimes I have and I'm like great I'm tagged but then I forget but I have like a running list now of all the videos I want to film so please remind me or if you've watched any cool tags and you'd like to see me do them feel free to let me know that in the uh, comments down below as well guys thank you thank you thank you so much for being with me I hope you have an amazing weekend since we're coming up close to it um, if you are watching this the Thursday it comes out and I'll see you real soon.